Hi, this is Attila16 and this is another episode of my campaign at Legendary of Rome, or Total War Rome 2, with the Romans. So I will capture this last city of uh, Carthage, which uh, I can say finally. I will uh, upgrade it. Okay, there we go. There seem to be many uh, towns in this, which are uh, oriented toward um, uh, war. Now, while the situation with Carthage is uh, hopefully resolved, it's not really resolved because there are still many fleets around which will attack me. Uh, but uh, it's resolved in the sense that they will attack me and they will die. So uh, that's a, a way to see it. Here I will bring uh, my legion here to attack uh, Libya. Libya. Here there's still that uh, Nova Cartago army which uh, is uh, annoying me greatly. And uh, Nova Cartago seem actually pretty powerful at the moment. They seem to lose ground to that uh, barbarian faction though which might actually facilitate uh, me destroying them. And now I need to put a technology, so I will research something useful, hopefully. So I guess I will increase the food production. Or water. Hmm. Now I'll go with the food production. Ready for battle. And I think... I think I can actually destroy that fleet here. Just seeing how they pull back, yeah, just prove it. And they are uh, an army, so that's perfect for my navy, because uh, armies are pretty weak against navy. And actually, I lost uh, three units of legion here because of it. I used to have uh, uh, veteran legionaries, but I lost them in auto battle because of this. So that was uh, annoying, but uh, I will still do the same, just for the sake of uh, saving time. Okay, so now we'll end this turn. And now, as I expected, they are counter-attacking, or actually they are attacking with all they have. But it's not worth fighting those fight. Uh, it seems that one fleet uh, helped them and uh, disappeared as a result. Another attack by Carthage. There will be multiple attack like this. There seems to be a rebellion also in the region. Which I will quickly take care of since I have the means to do so. Because if I don't, uh, it will grow. Which is a nice touch. There seems to be also a rebellion in Iol. So I will also take care of that. Here's this. Yeah, sure. Even if they um, ask for gold, it's best to give them the gold, because uh, what you want is a trade agreement. I think uh, it's likely that uh, Cartago Nova lost its town. Oh yeah, that's great. That is very nice. So another faction actually destroyed my enemy. Of course that means that I will have to fight that faction, but uh, it's much better like this. Actually, let's ask... Let's ask that faction if they want to trade with me. There's high chance. Very nice. Because they are uh, the enemy of my enemy. 
which you call a friend. Not really. No. Okay, let's finish that rebellion before it spread. So I guess I will um, take this relative peace moment to uh, consolidate my empire. Because I still have a couple of enemies which will attack me. Uh, but uh, overall I should spend on uh, transforming those buildings into my own type of building. So for example, here I should probably build a cohort barrack when I can. And here, no, actually, I won't do this. Here, here, I can produce this pretty quickly. But let's see if there's anything else more important. For example, here, those building, uh, it's priority. Now, Cartago is happy, which is, uh, which make me happy. And here there's some uh, Libyan uh, armies. I will finish off this uh, Carthage army. And I will also chase down the Libyan one. Which seemed too weak to uh, flee. Okay, nice. They were destroyed, so I can now make my way to that province here. Okay, so the situation is under control, nearly. Now this army will likely attack me here. There might be that army which will come attack me here, but I, I doubt it. And let's see, ending turn. Oh yeah, I forgot to take care of that small rebellion over there, so it might grow. Carthage will now attack the town, as expected. Now the thing is that they don't have any choice but to attack me at the moment. This is why they are doing it. Because if they don't take back uh, a town, they will uh, disappear. But by attacking me like this, they disappear anyway. Oh, that could be a good fight, but uh, I'm too strong. It's not worth fighting. And all these small fights actually make my armies rank up quite a bit. So that's good for me. So that's why what, what you should do is if you have a strong army and you're able to capture the last town of an enemy, do it as fast as possible as opposed to fighting their armies because once you have all their uh, town, they're forced to attack you, which means that you have the defensive advantage, which uh, is a pretty meaningful long term. Wow, these guys were much weaker than expected. So defeating them. It will likely attack me again. Unless I attack them first, which I should probably do. This way it will save us some time in the future. And I also need to take care of that uh, rebel army. One of my general died. They're all the same. There's a triumph for uh, one of my general here. At your command. Yeah, he deserve it. Well, this legion has a rank up, so we'll give him the bonus. And I will take this opportunity to destroy that army over there. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's very good to get rid of uh, Carthage and Cartago Nova because these guys, uh, well, Cartago Nova especially, uh, seem to be using uh, 
generals which are on uh, elephant back so that's uh, most irritating to fight Ready for battle. I need to get rid of that rebellion there because it's growing but they're not strong enough Killing him. There we go. The rebellion is nearly more important to get rid of than uh, the enemy army on my territory. Set up the watch. We hunger for battle. So let's see, do I have any region which deserve a makeover? I think I will actually develop Carthage port, which uh, I don't really usually develop my port much in any Total War game, but in this case I guess I will. So invading Libya, I actually have a pretty big army to do that. Okay, we'll take it easy because this army is mostly made of skirmisher and if I end up into a fight I don't want them to route the, uh, right away, if you know what I mean. So... Okay, that can be useful but not really. Okay, that general is actually very good for fleet purpose. Uh, I'm not sure it's the priority right now, so I'm not sure I will do that yet. It might be more useful short term. And is there any region which deserve uh, to be developed further? Now the thing is that, yeah sure I can expand those regions, but I won't because, uh, look here, I can expand this. Many people ask, uh, why don't you expand them? Uh, it's because if I expand them and I don't have the money to build something on it, uh, you end up with a slum and that uh, is very annoying. Because you need to pay for to destroy it. And this also affects uh, the public stability and everything, so you don't want that. So you only develop when you need it. Which is the important part about all this. So ending the turn now. I will not build anything for now. Only build a small port of course. But I, I won't uh, spend any more. Now Carthage. Uh, last fleet. Actually it's not the last one. But they're coming to fight me. And they will hopefully disappear after this. Yeah. That's good that the, the enemy are actually attacking you like this when they're nearly dead. Because otherwise we will have to chase them down all over the place and that could be extremely annoying. So that's another uh, army destroyed. I suppose that my legion over here uh, can now uh, be assigned to other tasks. Uh, which I'm very satisfied with because uh, it's uh, most uh, annoying to keep uh, a legion there. Yeah, sure. An aggression pack with affection. I don't plan to aggress anytime soon. But I might ultimately aggress them in the future if we get there. Okay, so some more fighting. Finally, that army is destroyed. Is it the end of Nova Cartagena? Maybe.
of triumph. So people are happy about my generals. Your orders. Okay, let's see what kind of building can I convert which will serve my purpose. There's that one. That one. And we'll destroy the fish market. I'm not uh, ready yet for that. And I cannot increase anything here. I will develop that food while well, that farm further. And now I'm broke. So it's time to continue my invasion. None will escape. Laying siege to the settlement. I refuse to move uh, to the town because uh, he's unable to attack right now. Okay, so I have to choose technology as well as uh, increasing the rank of my general. We'll give him authority to increase the morale. And now let's go into research. Now that I have this, that's much better. I will research uh, this here construction because I want to be able to develop uh, a more advanced town and municipality to be able to develop further uh, in level my uh, towns in the future. Okay, I think I'm fine for now. I have that spy over there, which I should probably order around. I'm reckoning uh, the Iberian Peninsula. And yeah, okay, that's fine for now. I probably should start thinking about uh, where to expand next. I think I will attack Syracuse, that's for sure. And I don't believe I have uh, a treaty with Syracuse. By attacking Syracuse, I will unify the another uh, province. So what I learned is that uh, province is the set of uh, region. So that's how you should uh, explain this. What you see here is uh, just a region. Hmm. What is this? That's an ally. Uh, not an ally, but uh, I will not attack this. Oh well, I got beat to it. So this faction decided to come all the way here just to take that town from Libya. Just as my uh, legion was nearby. So I was asked if I wanted to join them into the fight which I decline but this faction I'm not sure where they're from Commander. okay now I have 3000 in my treasury who are these guys oh well Let's ask if they want to trade. So I will be able to uh, turn my eyes uh, toward uh, somebody else. Okay, they are right there. How strong are they? They seem pretty strong based on the balance of power. But all this is nice, but they literally stole the town from under my feet. Trespassing. Okay. Advance. Well, it seems that Libya got crushed by uh, other people. That's kind of surprising. So I suppose that I will uh, move to the sea and head uh, elsewhere. Now, 
there seems to be a rebellion over there. Is this province happy at all? Not really, so I guess I will bring this fleet, well, this army here, which uh, was kind of idle for a while. I will send them over here, but they won't be able to reach it in time, so I guess I will have to move this other legion to secure this place. So going there and going here. And let's attack this if we can. So that will get rid of the enemy rebellion. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I can now convert a couple of buildings to my cause. So I will be able to produce some uh, legionnaire here, which will be uh, very useful to invade Spain. And here I will actually make auxilia, perhaps. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I might destroy this, actually. I will replace that with uh, some temple to convert the population. Here I will destroy the fish market because uh, it makes people unhappy. Sure, it creates foods, but I have 31 food and I don't need more food. Uh, the population around here is kind of happy. And here I'm a little annoyed that those guys uh, just took uh, ellipsis without asking, asking me or anything. Same here. That other faction just came by and took it. But I guess that's an opportunity to uh, build up my empire a little, consolidate everything. And eliminate... Uh, those few uh, remaining Carthaginian fleets around the place, which are most annoying. But now what I'll do is uh, I'll try to find uh, uh, good targets, uh, easy picking targets, which are made of mostly one province. This will allow me to uh, expand uh, faster. Now the legion I have in Libya, I'm not sure if I will keep it as it is because uh, it's composed mostly of skirmisher and that's not particularly uh, effective. While if I actually disband many of these troops, uh, the enemy will uh, most likely uh, take the opportunity to attack me. So I need to continue to increase my power. But I need an increase which is uh, based on solid ground. Okay, let's see. Hell for ships. What do I want? Campaign map movement could be useful. I guess naval health might be useful. So I still need to uh, fix that port here. Now let's do so. I can also... Oh, I don't need to increase the public order right now. So I will... Uh, Develop uh, Tapsis a little more. And here I will make a temple, which will uh, improve uh, the situation. Okay, now let's see what kind of easy picking target I could attack. Now, many factions seem to be composed of uh, uh, multiple towns. Marble. Maybe I could expand uh, within Africa here. Yeah, I guess that could be an effective way to do it. And this faction here uh, is kind of exposed to my legions. So I'm thinking about doing that. 
uh, since I have two regions uh, nearly ready for that task, I will uh, rush toward there. Here I will switch this and I will start recruiting some troops. And here I will send that legion into that town. Or actually, I will go further, since that town seemed to be very happy without me. Or without that legion, I should say. So what I'll do is I'll merge those two legions into one. Like this. Actually, maybe the other way around, yeah. Like this. And I will think about invading further. There's this faction here, which seems very powerful. Or I can go all the way and invade this one, but uh, I will annoy many people on the way. Or I could start to invade over there. They only seem to have uh, two towns in the area and one other, which is here. But I think uh, it's very likely that the best uh, thing to do is to invade toward there because if I'm securing Africa around here I want my uh, western side to be safe now let's see how the population like having no army in their town oh they don't dislike it which is a good thing so I'll make my way over there I will recruit uh, more troops And I think for now we're okay. So ending the turn, I will have 2,000 uh, gold uh, next turn, which will be uh, good for me. I'm still neglecting Syracuse, but that's because I don't really believe that they will take any action against me. But it's clear that I should probably raise my legion and uh, Rome uh, to attack that place before they become too strong and that will unify that region uh, which you can see on the right side here so uh, you need to plan ahead for that I nobled it okay well it seems that uh, I lost uh, my general here which was competent up to a certain point. All this town here seem uh, to be completely undefended. Other than by a garrison, of course. I do not have the capacity yet to uh, build proper units here. But I can recruit uh, some uh, javeliner, which are actually good defense. And oh wow, that's quite a bit of uh, people. So we will have to attack this. And let's move all the way here. Is that all? No, sadly, I don't really have a visual on uh, the enemy town. But I'll uh, just wait one turn and then I will attack. We hunger for battle. Perhaps I could recruit a few more javeliner here, which will serve me well into an attack. And maybe here I can recruit some mercenaries. Javelin man. Yeah, cavalry might be more useful. That will be uh, quite a fight of javelin over there. I don't know if there's any army, but if there is, uh, my army is all about javelin. So that will be something. Okay, let's scout uh, this faction here because I know uh, from the map that uh, these two towns are under its control. So I want to see what kind of uh, opposition I'll be facing here. And uh, okay, ending the turn, I think, or maybe I should probably let me check this. I'll modify that port. 
Or potentially a rebellion, which will happen here. But if I play well uh, my uh, battle for this region, I should be okay. I hope. Okay. Oh, I think this is fine now. Oh yeah, I need to research technology. I will research this because uh, once I'll have this, uh, I'll have minus 3% uh, building cost. So let's do this. Ending the turn now. Now, unless there's anything uh, surprising, I will attack uh, the Midi next turn, even though it has uh, three armies around it. The thing is that the faction from the desert are not particularly uh, impressive to me. Because they're mostly made of javeliner and spearmen. I propose a simple treaty between equals hmm. and friends. All can profit by this offer. No. I cannot make a p an uh, non aggression pact with him because I will attack him soon. At least that's my goal. Notice how all the army disappeared. As I said, uh, there will likely be a rebellion here. I can maybe send uh, another army just to... No, oh, oh, oh. oh, damn it. That's totally not what was the plan. Just something here. Make sure you click in the sea when you want to cross the sea, because otherwise your troops simply go by land. And uh, now I just had trespass on somebody else's territory, which was totally not my intention. They should really program something which uh, make your units use the most efficient path, including sea. Okay, now it's time to attack uh, over there. Declare war. They don't have any allies, so it will be easy picking. And as I expected, nobody defend this place. Now they do inflict quite a bit of damage uh, in the auto battle. But hopefully uh, that won't be much of a problem. Although there's three, are three armies which are coming my way, so that might be a little tricky. So I will now attack the town as well. And now that faction is pretty much defeated already. But they still have uh, those huge armies here. Which will likely come to attack my uh, troops here. Which have been uh, weakened quite a bit. By the auto battle. So I might actually lose this territory. Ready for battle. We'll on, see. And now I don't have anything else to Ready do here. I guess I could attack this. This is pretty undefended. But the problem I have is that uh, this legion here decided to walk all the way here in a very dangerous situation. So that's, that probably will be a bad thing. At your command. Okay, it's time to recruit fitter and legionaries. And hope for the best in this case here. They might not be able to uh, go all the way to that town to attack me. Which will be very good because then I will be able to refill my rank of legionnaire. Which I highly rely on to defeat... Uh, those guys. Okay. So, um, that faction seemed pretty strong. It looked like a hammer, but it might not be a hammer. I think it is a hammer. Yeah. Now I guess I will scout around and perhaps make a trading agreement with different faction. Which will serve me well. I 
Okay, where is this? I know bold it. Okay, so they did not attack me actually, which I'm a little surprised by. Okay, I'm fine with that. Here I don't have the means necessary to update that place and I don't think I have the technology. These guys were more advanced than me in terms of technology. So that's uh, original. But I will destroy those uh, military building because I don't plan to develop this any further. Okay, with this legion, how far can I go? Let's go to see. Yeah, well, that's totally bad, but anyway, I don't have much choice. I will go defend this place from a Carthaginian rebellion. And here I have money, so I will recruit more veteran legionaries. More actually, perhaps uh, one cavalry. Then I will uh, recruit Velites. And then here I'll get attacked, which has nothing to do with that. But uh, yeah, okay, ending the turn. I don't think I can do anything else for the moment. I guess I could chase down those uh, a few troops here, but I'm not sure that will uh, serve any purpose at the moment. Oh, there we go for the fight. Now the good news is that they're only coming, no, actually they're coming with all their armies from uh, where the evaluation of power and you, you can see the amount of uh, tribal slinger and Numidian spearmen in those different armies. That's pretty crazy. I actually have two armies here. One of them is uh, Garrison. So that will be the next battle. That uh, will likely be pretty intense. So I'll see you there.